in July of 2014. Uh, we talked for a couple of months uh, without meeting and then we met in September of 2014. September 13th of 2014 to be specific. The funny thing is I went to undergrad at the same school that Sean was doing his graduate master's degree program. Yep. Um, it's a smaller school, but we, our paths probably crossed, but we never met. We didn't meet until he had moved an hour and a half away. Yeah, so I had been living in Kirkston, Minnesota for a few years, I think a little over two at that point, and then we went on our first date back in Bemidji, where Kayla was from, and so our first date consisted of going on a picnic and then going to a movie and a moonlit stroll around the lake. And we were both extremely, extremely nervous for about the first hour and a half and barely said two words for the first little bit of that. But uh, once we got uh, comfortable, it went really well. Uh, we went to a movie and then, yeah, like she said, went for a stroll. I offered Kayla my jacket, even though I was freezing on, it was a September, but it was cold on the lake. And yeah, that's kind of where it started. Yeah. Fast forward, we dated for about a year and a half to almost two years before we got married. Um, we were married July of 2016, so I guess almost exactly two years from when we had initially met online. Yeah, it was a little over two years that we were married. We were married in Bagley, Minnesota, uh, not too far from where Kayla uh, grew up. And yeah, it was a lakeside wedding, uh, you know, kind of medium sized with fam family, friends. A bit about us, uh, just so I work in athletics for uh, NCAA Division II institution as an assistant athletic director. I, within that, I do statistics for sports. I love being around uh, sports. I have my entire life. Uh, it's been an interest. And so that is a big part of what we do or what we're around. Uh, definitely go to a lot of uh, athletic events and Kayla will come as well. Um, on top of that, we really enjoy going out to the outdoors, uh, hiking, uh, or trying to go to as many national parks as we can. I think we've been to 13 so far, so we still have quite a few left. Uh, we enjoy hiking and traveling, um, spending time with family and our close friends. Yep, and exploring Minnesota as well, where, where we live. Uh, beautiful state so we love just doing stuff around there uh, we're very active in our church and I'm on the leadership committee there and I lead the kids ministry team so it's something we're very passionate about I also sing for worship some weeks as well and um, that's another thing I love is just music and we both love music and uh, we just uh, yeah we like having fun together and being a little goofy sometimes and him a little more than I. Um, I am a sixth grade teacher at a private school in our town. Um, I've been there for about three years now and I absolutely love it. Um, I love being able to share my faith with my students and just spend time with my students and get to know their families. Um, besides the things that we do together like hiking and um, me going to sporting events. I also really enjoy crafting. Um, I crochet, I do some work with my Cricut. Um, I also really enjoy painting and doing some like wood projects too. So from an early point, uh, just in our relationship, uh, we knew kids were gonna be very important to us. Uh, we had had discussions early on and had in our minds uh, what our family was going to look like, three or four kids. Uh, we were thinking it was going to be maybe a year or two into marriage. Uh, we thought some naturally, some through adoption. Yep. Um, but, but I would say early on we were a little more focused on, on the natural route. Uh, and then, then things kind of changed uh, through our infertility journey. We had 
struggle we've we've struggled with infertility for about three years that we knew of. Um, we were doing different treatments for about two of those years, and um, we also had a loss during that time. There were lots of ups and downs during that period. Just you know, infertility is definitely an emotional ride, and um, it just came to a point after two or three years where we just decided uh, we needed to needed to stop and then we were reevaluating just where we wanted to go next and honestly adoption had been something we had discussed uh early on and then it you know it became really where our focus turned so like i had said previously my grandpa was adopted but it was a close adoption at that point was which was very popular during that time period and because of that choice by his birth family we haven't known much about the birth family for years and that's why we're excited for the uh, prospects of open adoption we understand that making the choice to create an adoption plan is a huge decision for any expectant mother expectant family um, we are honored that you may potentially consider us as potential adoptive parents um, and just how much love we already have for you, for um, your child, um, and just know that we are already praying for you and your child no matter what the situation is. We want you to know that you will be loved and supported through all stages of the journey. So what we're asking of you. So first off, just through it all, since God is centered in this, we just would like your, your prayer, or if you're not a particularly religious person, just your positive vibes uh, sent our way, first off. Um, secondly, if you feel called at all to share financially um, there will be a link in the description once that is all set that you could share there and also we would just like uh you know if you you feel willing to just share our story and get the word out there uh just about uh, about our journey our adoption journey and just uh yeah spreading the word about what's going on we feel so loved and supported so far during this journey um, we are home study approved. We are. And so just, we thank you for your support already to where we are and for your continued support to bring Baby Smith home. Thank you.